Hey guys, this is the last part of our first create a scene series. In this video, you will see me try and create a background for my previous models. But first, I want to say that since this is my first time creating a proper background, this video shows a lot of mistakes. You can treat this video as a what not to do type of video. I am still learning and I will make a much more proper background in the next create a scene series. Alright, let's get started. First, I try to make the road for the base or floor of the model. At the time, I decided to make the floor in scale with the model and reference. I also gave it a rhombus shape since I thought it would help create a perspective effect. However, I later realized that that approach was unnecessary. Here, I blocked out how tall the fences would be in relation to the character. I will later replace it with a properly made fence. I also added a rectangular plane behind the fence. I used this as the mesh to make the mountain you can see in the reference. Then with the sphere mesh, I started to block out the giant kaiju in the background. The major mistake I made while making this model was to create everything at a large scale. This made the texturing really difficult and demanding for the software, so I don't recommend it at all. For the mouth, I went with the cube mesh since I know that I would be slicing it in half to create the upper and lower jaw. Here, I am just roughly shaping the model to match with the references. This is where I then slice the mesh into two pieces to create the jaw parts. For the teeth, I used a couple of loop cuts to just get the right section for the teeth. Piecing the vertices together manually would be difficult so what I did here is just select all the faces and extrude them. That way, it would be a lot easier to just connect the vertices. I did not notice that I pre-extruded some faces so I had to cut the upper jaw in half and mirror it to have a symmetrical upper jaw. This part is unnecessary. I just made a simple mistake that I did not notice. Connecting the faces of the inside of the mouth is pretty straightforward. To create the lower jaw, I just duplicated the upper jaw, flipped it over, and resized it to make it look nice and natural.
As you can see here, I have already made the texturing surfaces of all the models. It took me a to generate the planes due to how large the scale of the model is. That's why I do not recommend making background at its proper scale. I also just used basic shading since painting it pixel by pixel as how I intended it to do so was simply just impossible. You can also see here that I am struggling to texture the fence since it was too large. It is the reason why I replaced it with a proper 3D model. Here, I first made a very small fence for the scene. I later scaled it up to match the guide meshes I made earlier.
I tried to use the M tool plugin for the grass areas, but it was unnecessary for me to do so I just ended up using another cube mesh. For the clouds, I just made a couple of circle-like shape and shaded it with cloud colors. Then I just duplicated it to make more clouds. Thank you for watching the channel's first create a scene series. I will surely be making more of it since it is a very fun project to make. I learned a lot from this first attempt and I will surely apply it on the next one I make. I already have an idea what model I would make for the next one and it is a very exciting one. So stay tuned for when that gets announced. Thank you again for all the support on the channel. Here's the final model of the entire scene. 